Welcome to The Appliance Show, Jonathan, The Appliance Dude, coming at you from Curtis here in Westchester County. Rock and roll, let's get to it. Today's story, we're gonna talk Viking. Yes, Viking, Viking, Viking. So much to talk about here. Um, this is really geared for you folks out there who are seriously considering as the, dawn, the spring home improvement season dawns on us, um, if you are seriously considering doing a Viking kitchen. Let me start off with a little story. Um, about a month ago, I was in New York City and I had a bunch of appointments and I actually stopped into the Viking showroom to go just kind of kick the tires a little bit, uh, check out product, et cetera, et cetera. And while I was in there, um, something happened, which I've actually experienced quite a number of times on our sales floor, on the phone, et cetera. A woman came in from New York City and she was talking about uh, putting a Viking kitchen in and she was just um, uh, glowing about how beautiful the product looked and how her friend has a Viking range and she loves it and this, that, whatever. And then suddenly the whole conversation went sideways. And what happened was she brought up um, the fact that she had gone online and had read review after review after review after review. Basically torrents of negative comments about Viking products, uh, which had gone back for several years. So. She basically was very spooked by the idea, even though she was in there loving what the product looked like and digging what the uh, showroom manager was telling her about form and functionality and all the details, uh, she couldn't get past the reviews and the noise that we see on the internet. The litany of problems that Viking has seen, have really, they haven't resided within the cooking line, okay? A lot of the problems were in built-in refrigeration. I believe it was under counter refrigeration at one point and with the dishwashers. The cooking line is what Viking really made their name in. That is what elevated them to basically become an iconic brand in the world of appliances. Actually, they became a brand that they, they went way beyond just being an appliance company. They were actually, at one point, one of the most powerful consumer brands in this country. So people ask me what I think about Viking. I, I am of the belief that Viking is going to have a significant turnaround, okay? And the reason I say that is actually, the reason is there are two words, and they are Salim Basul. What is Celine Bessel? Celine Bessel is now basically the owner of Viking. He is actually the CEO and chairman of a company called the Middleby, Middleby Corporation, based out, out of Chicagoland, in the middle of the country, and um, they purchased Viking. This is a man who plays for keeps. This is a businessman who devours planets. He is Galactus. He, um, he has the Midas touch. Um, what I would recommend if you're actually thinking about purchasing Viking products moving forward is actually Googling Salim Basul, um, whose name should be flashing on the screen here right now. And after I read more about him and I saw what this man has done with Middleby um, and what his, his corporate experience background is, I am of the absolute uh, firmest belief that he's going to take Viking and bring it back to the rarefied air that it once resided in. The reason why I'm so confident in what this man is going to do is let's let alone, I mean, we could start with his track record, which is phenomenal. I mean, go check what Middleby stock's trading for right now. I mean, the man knows how to, um, he knows how to run a business. But what's more important is what he did really right when he actually took control of Viking. Um, within weeks, he actually was able to uh, identify what the problems were. And I guess they still seem to think there was problems with their built-in refrigeration. So what did the man do? Right away, injects $5 million of capital into the refrigeration line to kind of get it going and fix whatever needed to be fixed. He has a commitment to actually get in things, roll up the sleeves, throw money at it, do whatever needs to get it fixed. And he did that pretty quickly. I mean, without, I don't think he even owned the company for a month before they started making these fixes. So they're committed to change. I like that. What Slane Bessel also did was right away, he got rid of all the ancillary, ancillary businesses that Viking had gotten into over the years and which actually had led to their, um, led to their, I think it led to some of their problems because it actually took their focus away from their core competencies, which was creating fantastic professional residential cooking appliances. And when instead of what they had been doing was running hotels, cooking schools, um, uh, they had countertop mixers, they had cutlery. So the moral of the story is he's getting back to the core competency, he's throwing money at the problems. And I think that he also has up his sleeve, he has some commercial cooking technologies, which they are going to bake into, no pun intended, the Viking residential line. It's 
some point. That's not going to happen in three, six, nine months. It's going to probably, it's going to be a change. You're going to see a transition that's going to happen in a matter of years. Um, but right now, I mean, how does all this help you if you're looking to buy a pro cooking package and you're considering Viking right now? Well, what I would do is I would definitely focus on the cooking because the cooking, there wasn't the problem with that. Um, uh, what I also like is the fact that they have offered a three-year warranty. That was done before Mr. Basul, of course, went on the watch. Um, I think that that will, in fact, I mean, if that doesn't tell you that they're confident in their brand, I don't know what does because anybody out there is offering a three-year warranty and they think there's going to be issues, going to be bankrupt. So, um, um, I, to me, that's a statement of confidence. I would definitely take that to heart. Um, so that's basically where it's at. You know, I think the cooking is fine. I think the company is definitely going to be in an upward trajectory, and I think they're, they're back in the game. They're going to play for keeps. Um, in a matter of years, they're going to be a serious, serious player again. Um, so that's basically where we're at here. So let's go watch the Viking story unfold. Let's watch Celine Basul do his thing. And um, if there's any questions, you can hit me at jonathanacurtos.com. Uh, come visit us in Westchester. The water is warm. Come in, take a dip. It's all good. And that's basically where we're at. So uh, thank you for your time. Um, you know, be confident in Viking, at least the cooking appliances for that matter. And then um, let's just see what happens with things. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Peace.